So starting off with an aldehyde, mm -hmm. then I'm going to surprise you okay. with the product. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off with our aldehyde, mm -hmm. and then we're going to get to an alkene. Okay. What are you thinking? How do we get there? Okay, so I'm looking at the difference because there's a few more carbons on this one than there is on this one. So we go from three carbons to seven carbons. Can we do a Grignard reagent? We can start off with what you're thinking. Okay, okay. So if you want to write out the Grignard reagent that we mm -hmm. would use and then build whatever that alcohol would be. All right, we have an ethyl, right? Mm -hmm. You're adding two carbons. Great. And then in total, we're going to have how many carbons? We'll just have the five on the bottom. Great. How do we go potentially from an alcohol to an alkene? And I want you to think about organic chemistry two reactions that we've learned. Okay. Is there anything that we've learned that gets to, maybe there's a middle step, who knows, uh -huh. but that forms an alkene? We can look at just different types of reactions we've learned about aldehydes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I was thinking like Wittig. Yep. Okay, is that beautiful, right? Beautiful, beautiful. That's what I was on my mind. That's what I was like, for. I think it's Wittig. Okay. Good. So, great. We know that that will form an alkene. Uh huh. But what do we need before then? We need the ilid. We ilid. do need the ilid, <laughs> but that reaction comes mm -hmm. from what starting material? The, like a ketone or. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, the we need blonde. to form that. Oh, I see you're saying. Okay, okay. How do we oh, form that? We could do. This is what, secondary alcohol? Yep. We could do PCC. Beautiful. My favorite one. Beautiful. I love that one. Okay, we can do PCC. Mm -hmm. Then go ahead and just draw out what that's going to form. Okay. All right, we know a secondary alcohol using oxidation mm -hmm. is then going to form a ketone. Now that we finally have the ketone, we know reactions of aldehydes and ketones mm -hmm. can form that alkene using our Vittage reaction. Mm -hmm. So what are our reagents? If we had to write it out, what do you think it would be? Isn't it the PPH3? Yep. That one. PPH3. And there's something else that's on it. What does the illid typically look like? Because it has a BULI. Or am I thinking so that was action? forming the illid. Oh, okay. Right? We can automatically now just have that reagent where it would. Oh, I see. Oh, a double bond. Double bond. I see. I was, double yeah. bond to the R group that we're adding. Okay. So what R group are we adding? Just this methyl right here. And yes, it is a methyl, mm -hmm. but it's also, what else? Because this is a new carbon that we're introducing. Oh, I see what you're saying, because it'll be replacing this. Yes. So technically, it'll be double bond CH Keep going. with the CH3. Beautiful. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. Yes. And you did it. 